we have a plan. We'll capture a river merchant's caravan and use their tugboat to infiltrate the bridge. But, since the caravan isn't here yet, the colonel gave me the go-ahead to get the passenger carriage Katya told us about. To do that, I first need to go to the terminal and get Crest railcar from there. It might be a good time to explore the surroundings.
for the most part accumulated in the sediment and as a result affects the benthic community the most. The active agent provokes pronounced pathologies in the crustacean and molluscan young, which quickly proved to be fatal. Yet the catfish hatchlings in the test basin have not only survived and remained completely unharmed, but quite unexpectedly have overtaken the control groups in terms of growth by a factor of at least four. The agent does not seem to impact the pelagic fish species that much. The perch and roach young have shown a marginal increase in growth with no apparent negative effect.
to explain proper grammar, and the people still think they can cheat physics. But this guy just told them God ordered to do it this way.
There he is, that fucker! Over here! Bitch! Fuck this monkey business. Well boys, run around the place. Bring the bitch to me before I do something, ponyo! some suka at the sender. Right, Fuck it, What's up there, 
people? Fucking hell. That fucking bitch. Killing me all the time. God! We have to find the bitch before he runs out on us for good. Everything's going to shit. Hey man, we're cool.
Our old home is here. <laughs> That's amazing. Artyom, come up here. I have something to talk to you about. Hello, Artyom. You're back. You did great. Thank you. So, here's the plan. Your group captures the tugboat. Then you, Duke and Crest, take it to the bridge. While Crest distracts the guards, you and Duke infiltrate the control room at the top and lower the bridge. On your mark, we'll ram the gates, pick you up, and... And... I pray to God it works out. Hmm. <sighs> I can't give you or Duke any direct support. The data we have tells us the enemy's main force is guarding the gate. One more thing, Artyom. Look after Duke, all right? He's a great scout, but uh, prone to unnecessary risks. Now, sure, he's young, but if he continues like that, who knows what will happen? Huh? So give him a good example and do it smoothly and quietly. You are his role model, and as such should remember that you are special forces, not tank jocks. Good luck, Artyom. Welcome back, Ranger. It looks like I've been worrying for nothing. It's my age, I guess. Oh, well, we were all worried. Yeah, but Anna took it to a whole new level, I must say. Artyom, look, I have an improvement for Tihar ready. Try taking it out for a trial. You're welcome to use the workbench to install it. So, did the backpack come in handy? <laughs> I told you it was the best thing ever. So, you, are you ready for that I final push? To thank you. Good Spicebo. luck. And thanks again. Thank you, Artyom. You are the man. I am in your debt. Thank you. Thank you so much. I can't even begin to explain how much this means to us. Thank you. Uh, Artyom, uh, the team took the long way around to the port. But you could get there faster. There's a boat there. Or you could just take a zip line from the bandit tower. Well, Artyom, break a leg. Good luck to you. In the port and on the bridge, too.
time up here on the crane. Hey, here! I'm guys. over here! Four at the tugboat ladder, sentries at the pier. Sam will take the right flank. Go in, Sam. I'm in position. I can see a guard. Duke is to the left of the hangar. Come in. Duke in position, ready to take the guard off. He's Yoshi's on the far crane. <sighs> There's a mark on everyone. <sighs> Crest has scouted out the basement. There's only two of them here. Busy repairing something, so uh, this seems to be the best spot for quiet entry. Well, Artyom, we are all set. You managed to get out of the church quietly, so let's make this one the same. Yeah, it's no fun beating up immature soldiers like them. Cut the chatter. All right, Artyom, you're in charge. You call the shots. Perhaps we should wait for dusk. It might be easier then. Some of the guards might fall asleep. You could rest here in the cabin in the meantime. Look! You could climb aboard there! I'll distract them! You get on! Hide here and wait for them to pass. Assholes. Careful, on your left! What the hell? Uh, I, I can't see you ah. in those barrels! Oh, fire! Oh, fire. Oh, fire. Oh, we need a medic here! Shot one! We have a man down! Took him out!
shoot! Don't shoot! I can pay the, the goods! Take them! You can take the goods! Stay calm! It's us! <laughs> Great job, Arthur! So, you guys ready to set off? Too late if you're not, we have no time to waste. Good luck, guys. I hope the winds are fair and the waters are smooth. And Artyom, watch it out there. Oh yeah, we're gonna need that luck, all right. Fair winds. Hurra! Man your stations, weigh anchor! We're gonna go about halfway there, then wait in the reeds until about 4 o'clock. We want to get there early in the morning, when the fog is the thickest and they are sleepy after the morning prayer. Artyomich, Duke, you're on final approach. There. See that fire at the very top? That's the control post. What well, used to be anyway. Now it's a shrine, Blade. Closer to God at the top, you see. That's where you have to go. I'll distract the guards now. Hey, you are sure? Catch the line! Ready! Hey, sailor! What did you do to your barge? What you gonna sell now? <laughs> oh, you're so funny! Jackass, bled. So, you Artyom, shall we move? Man? Whoever gets there first we wins! Break a leg! So brothers, why are we here? We're on it. Because they have arrived. Just like Father Salandios foretold. Who arrived? Satan's slaves! It's like you missed the morning sermon. Well, I didn't. One day you are going to get sent to fight demons for that. But it's so early. Just tell me what he said. Uh, all right. Uh, a heretic actually arrived right at the ceremony. Our guys rushed over to save the Holy Father. And the heretic killed most of them. They say he wouldn't touch uh, you if you said What was that rustle in the story? They also didn't harm the unarmed folk that just happened to be there. He hasn't lost the last of his humanity, that heretic. Well, let's see, just in case. Not to mention that Katia and her witch spawn escaped and oh, all the so far, so good. There's a rumor that people saw her with the heretics. So you think they might attack? Oh no! <laughs> May the Zarfish devour them. Yeah, Back. Back? But he and Kirill vowed to eradicate all the demons. You don't just come back after that. Who's walking over there? Well, ask anyone. They got captured by heathens, but a heretic, one of the new ones, freed them. Ah, old Simon just got cold feet, that's all. All the stories people tell not to go. No, he did not. He came back and made a huge fuss at the church and got his way too. Now we will be praying for that heretic instead of Simon. You got that? Oh God, for a heretic? It would please God, though. That's Simon. What next? The 
and he just made the sign of the cross, kissed the altar, and went back to the demons. Yes, what about Kirill? He's the one who's going to do the praying. Father Zelantius himself wiped his slate clean. Oh, yes, not everyone is created the same. God save Simon's soul. <sighs> Don't you worry so much. Well, I just can't... The four eyes didn't come back. God save his soul. And he didn't even go out to fight a demon. You know, well, I've you been know thinking... What? What do those heretics now want? What's that? Know what's worse. Over there. It's been a month ah, they just want to get to the other the side, the that's all. And what's so and nice over there on the other side? Demon killing trips hey, brother. Everyone is looking for a better we'll life. For sure. Which is where? Don't even think of it. Where? Where we are not. Just tell me to you change your mind. We are the just one. I should have known. Salentius. I should have known when she told it's me. It's not what I meant. Done you are right dumb. Well, explain it better. Why is it better where heretics live? Ah, what's the point of explaining it to you? You just sit now the... and look around. When the heretics might be here already. Where? Everywhere. Look around, your eyes are young, and shout if you see anything. Got that? God Almighty and just. Shield us from the touch of evil, and the breath of evil, and from its temptation. And save our souls the way you saved our lives, to serve your will and confirm your power here on earth again, just as you have confirmed it in heaven. And give us strength to triumph over certain demons, and punish us. And the skies rained missiles, and the ground burned to ash, and the seas boiled. And people turned into shadows. But our cloister survived. For the faithful reside here. <laughs> and the Lord in his mercy and wisdom has chosen one among them who goes by the name of Silanthus. <laughs> and so speaketh the Lord. I will be with you and will keep you safe. Provided you are true in your devotion. Provided you reject satanic technology. We reject. And even more so. Do you reject Satan's deception? That thing they call electric current. The cursed gift the enemy gave to the fools. So that they would fancy themselves Above reproach, above God, and more powerful than Him, we reject! Amen, my children! For the electric current is Satan's temptation and his poison. Only those who reject electricity will be allowed into the kingdom of God. Only those who remain unsullied by its corruption will be let through by the Sarpage! Glory to the fish! So let us not fear the heretics at our door. The ones who would attack our closure. Even with their iron steeds standing before us, stinking of machine oil and shining its heretical light upon us, we will not falter. Let us steel ourselves against them, for this is our hour of glory. Amen. Amen. So let your hands slay the enemy's servants with no rest or mercy. For we carry out the will of our Lord. And it is his retribution and punishment for their sins that our enemies will receive. Let us 
lost fear. We had it. Mixed. An hour ago, the ones who would attack our clothing from evil, even with their iron feet standing before us, stinking of machine oil and shining its heretical light upon us, we will not falter here. Let us steel ourselves against them, for this is our hour of glory. Amen. What happened? Amen. So let your hands slay the enemy's servants with no rest or mercy. For we carry out the will of our Lord. And it is his retribution and punishment for their sins that our enemies will receive. And all who stand before our gates shall scatter like dust in the wind. His will be done! Starfish. So you got me, you damned heretics! You took Gatcha, and now you have me! Damn, you are quicker too! Oh, God, man, we're just passing through. Let us through peacefully, our guys won't shoot, or this place is going bye-bye. And Katya, you don't have to worry about her anymore, understood? For deceiving Katya, you must pray to the Lord for forgiveness. But for murdering my children, the children of God, you will burn in hell until the end of days! left Volga behind. The endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now. Regretfully, Duke was not destined to see them. Was his death a fault of mine? Was everything that happened on the bridge? It could be. It's a cruel world that we live in. Artyom. Artyom. Wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the Colonel wants you on the bridge. See you later. Come on, wake up. I'm so sorry about Duke. He was just a boy. Really? He kept asking me for advice on how to become more attractive to a girl he knew. What to say to her. He couldn't wait to come back to her, proudly wearing Help. scars and medals. World here. I'm in Gimete. Over. Kinel, Kinel, come in. Kinel, over. That's just great. We'll all try later. have we been on the road for? I've been listening to the radio, too. And there was not a single transmission about any occupying force. There's so much regular chatter. So many stories. Dad says all those are coded transmissions, that they all have hidden meaning, but... 
Why would they be so secretive? Why aren't they using this railroad? Why don't they at least control its key junctions? Why did they not install any roadblocks? If they are even out here. This is the main transport artery, after all. Maybe they are not here at all. Maybe they never came here, or they are already gone. Though, where to? Remember? Neither Katya nor Crest have ever met them. Though, Uncle they seem to be doing Uncle just Joe. fine, even Uncle without Uncle Dokarev has already set like his shop up. Wanna go look? It's so cool. Here, Uncle Artyom. Ah, hi, Artyom. See my new place? Fit for a king, I must say. And what do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach, yet there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this, too. Looks like we're facing a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits, but I'll have to, and soon. And it's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know. Duke's plate carrier didn't hold the back plate anymore. And he... he just kept... Oh, a smoke it. break! That's good. <laughs> oh, this is one mean smoke. Damn, this is rough. Well, <clears throat> nothing we couldn't take. <clears throat> what was that? Well, well, I'll be working here for now on. Well, that's it. I bragged enough and won't waste any more of our time. The Colonel summoned you. Come on in, have a seat. Stepan's putting on a live performance here. So, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up. Thank you, Stepan. I'm sorry, well, guys. The Duke's memory. Uh, Artyom, the colonel's waiting for you on the bridge. Look, stop with this funeral mood. It is Duke we are talking about. Do you recall how we came back from the library? Same thing here! Come here, Artyom! Listen! I had a talk with the Ark! All thanks to Tokarev. He got the decoder working. Ark, come in. Come in, Ark! Over. Hey, this is Ark? Hey, uh, identify yourself. Uh, uh, over! This is Colonel Svetoslav Mionnikov speaking. I'm in command of a special operations force. We have received your signal and are currently heading your way. Do you copy? Over. Yes, yes! I hear you loud and clear. Who am I talking to? How do I address you? The Deputy Chief of Communications Department. We are approaching the Yamantau Bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just will? Railcar, what's going on ahead? Over. Everything's abandoned, but the truck is okay. Over. 
Roger that. Don't go too fast, and watch out for radiation. Over. Roger that. I still can't believe this. We're there. Do you get this? We're finally there. This has been our goal, not for weeks or months, but for 20 years. My whole life. And it was not spent in vain. Now I know it for a fact. Mama, look. Are we going to live here now? I don't know. Why? I don't like this place. It's creepy. Shh. Don't say that. Cover Colonel. It's getting really hot out here. Everyone, masks on. Passengers, get inside and button up tight. Yes, of course. Come on, Nastya. Change of plans. We're taking the rail car from here. Wait for Artyom and me. How about me? You've been dreaming to get here for so long, and are now leaving me behind? <laughs> Am I your daughter or not? All right, come with us, or else I'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> A wise decision. Yermak, stop the engine. to the safe zone, and sit tight there. We know that right now. Stepan, you're in charge while I'm away. Sir, yes, sir. Great. Let's go. Damn, you've been down in this place. Where's the Moscow? Yeah, looks like it. You see that crater? Wonder what the yield was on that one. Looks like a hundred to me. Lucky. Your guys used to have three and five hundred ones too. Well, even a hundred seems to have done okay. Artyom was right. People were coming here from all over the country. Yes, they were. Nobody came from Moscow, though. Until now. So much time wasted. We'll make up for that now. Well, we're almost there. Oh, no, 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 this is a bad place, no, we shouldn't have come here, really. Okay, so where's my welcoming committee in red carpet? I don't get this. Oh, see, nobody home. How about we go back, huh? Поехали. Look! Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. See? We're expected. Underground, but this place, man, this is completely creeping me out. Why is it so deserted here? No gun emplacements, no patrols, not even lookouts. Why would they need any of that? A nuclear warhead couldn't take it out. people 
thinking, I wonder. Yeah, this place could use some cleaning, at the very least. Sam, idiot. You know what? No need for us all to crowd the government, so you two better stay with Crest. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Prepare a speech. Reporting to the minister is no joke. Ah, get off my case. I pulled an old nighter. <laughs> Don't you feel like you should say something to Artyom now? Yes. You were right, Artyom. And I was wrong. Thanks for not giving up. Here goes nothing! Comrade Minister! Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? Everything is going as planned. Everyone is fine. So far. So far? I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense! Now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking. Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! Calm down, we'll get jaundice like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of hers. Untie my hands, you motherfucker! And I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them. your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. You fucker! Let me... let me go! You scum! Not one will escape! Not a single! So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though. 
since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime, I'll you excuse beasts. myself. Come here, I'll rip you all apart. Every last one of you should have done that before the war. But I'll get you mad. Burn this to ashes. So the whole thing is dirty. Now we'll be full again. Good. Artyom! Remains! Here. Colonel, sir, I think that's Thank enough. Thank you, Sam. But it is not. We have to get back. But first, we must find Anna! I'm sorry, I went too far with that elevator. To hell with it! Idiot! Start the main elevator off! Ready! Elevator on the move! Sam! ETA, we get in cover! Yes, sir! Well done! We can hold up Right between the eyes! I got the treat for you here! Just like our old D6. Even the lift is the same, exactly. True. And quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. Still, the complex is huge, and we have ten minutes at the most. So, we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Idiot, you come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay. Let's go! Your floor, Artyom. Come on, Artyom! 